Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos. I'm here at the Villa of Nero and the Villa of Caligula um, here in Anzio, Italy. And it's just this seaside ruin kind of on the cliffs. It's There's really not a lot left, but uh, it uh, served a, a point back in history. So I'll take you along the edge and show you along and uh, share it with you. That's it everybody, thanks for coming along. Bye -bye. All right, so one of the places to see is this place you see the head right there villa imperial villa and so it's here villa grato nerone and that's what that lady said villa norone but it's on this side of the street and it's not on this side of the street so if you're walking this way you're absolutely gonna miss it so you have to go this way i was on the top and looking down on it but i totally walked by it so the only way to get to this place is to go down this little tiny street and you have to get to it from the beach. I mean, well, no, that's not true. You can get to the top of it, but you can't see anything. You can't walk down the cliff face. You can't walk down to the ocean. You really can't see it from up there. You can see the top of it and they have a couple little sheets, those three pictures that I took and I'll add those to this. Um, but you can't really see the villa or even experience the villa unless you come this way. So I'm going this way. All right, everybody. So bye you'll bye. get to, at the end of that street, you get to this restaurant, uh, Restauranto Turcotto from 1816 to 2016. And it comes over this way. And I'm just gonna get to this edge and show you a picture of what we're really looking at, right? In their old Roman baths. It's uh, an ancient site and it's on the beach and it's gorgeous, but so you can even see the tourists down there taking pictures and this lady's taking pictures. And so you get to here and this is what you get. And so the Roman ruins are all on this side around this corner here. So I got to get over to there and look at that. And it's gorgeous and the caves are way over there. You see the holes in the walls, the caves and the people, and you can see the fence. There's a fence right along that edge right there. So you can't climb up to them. And when you go to the main site, I was up on top. So let me get my finger up here. I was up here walking, and that's where I took those three pictures of the three little placards. But you can't get down from there. So the only way to get to it is to get to this part. And one of the things to remember is it revolves around this lighthouse. So if you come to this location, to Enzica, and Anzio, sorry, Anzio. If you come to Anzio, this spot is there. Okay, bye everybody. I'll get down to the ocean and walk along. Bye-bye. All right, so I'm on the beach and they talk about the caves, but I don't know if this is the caves or if the caves are way over that way. But let me look in here. I'm absolutely not going in there. <laughs> and I, that's a dead end. Can you go this way? I'm not going in there either. All right, so I'm gonna have to put my stuff down, but you can tell these are all Roman ruins. So this used to be a, a port or some kind of, uh, Hoochie-boo. <laughs> and you know what hoochie-boo means, don't you? It means uh, don't get your feet wet, Eric. <laughs> now go. Oh. Oh. All right, well, let me climb over this crap and I'll get to the regular beach and I'll come back. <laughs> Bye, everybody. All right, I'm over the barricade and there are lots of little caves and tunnels and ruins here. And they go right up to the top of the beach. Um, and people hanging out and swimming, and the ocean is absolutely gorgeous. And I've touched the water <laughs> on purpose, <laughs> and, uh, and it's not bad. I don't know that you'd really want to swim, but I see people swimming, so I, you know, I guess it can't be too bad. But this is what it looks like round in this corner, and there's a lighthouse. Amazing. And you can see where I'm going. You can see the ruins down there on that uh, cliff face. 
the Roman port and the Roman uh, baths and such. And you can see that it's just absolutely beautiful. And the fishermen are out there fishing. Amazing. Okay, well, I'm gonna get down that way and I will come back to you. All right, so you can see the the Roman ruins. Looks like they did terraforming just to make it something they could live on and such. And it looks like there are stairs here that go up to the lighthouse. So I don't know if you can get from the, but that look, gate is probably locked up there, but I don't know for sure. And there's lots of people swimming, surprisingly. It's kind of amazing. But you can see the ruins here. And so I was up on top of this, but you can't see this part of it um, until you get down here. So, so I guess these are the Roman ruins. And so what I'm looking at here is, if I show you the sheet, the map, I'm here at Via Neoni or Villa Imperiale, which is this right here. Huh. Amazing. So I guess I'll go all the way to the end and see what I can see and <clears throat> If there's anything more that's interesting to see, besides the artwork on the beach, um, I will come back to you. If not, then this is really all there is to the site. So that spot where I got those signs was right there. You see those white things up on top of that uh, cliff up there? That's the, where they had the signs and all that stuff. So, interesting. And the water is really, really pretty clear and really pretty calm. I don't know that it's, uh, well, I guess people swim, so I guess it's warm enough. And you can see the more of the ruins here. You see the arch? And that looks like Roman baths are in there. Huh. Okay, everybody. This is Via Nai, Naoni, 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 or Via Imperia, Imperiale. <laughs> I'm sure people will correct me. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye.